An average. A great player is <laughs> I mean, he's, he's a great player on my team. pretty good. Yeah. You know, that's what you like. <laughs> Early game in London. Drake May makes his second career start when the Patriots uh, take on Trevor and the Jags. Here's Trevor on the rookie. Take a listen. I've met Drake before. I like him. You know, I think he's a uh, he's got a lot of talent. He's got a bright future. Um, I know what it's like to be uh, obviously a young quarterback in this league not too long ago and um, I wish him the best. You know, it's a challenge and every week is a learning opportunity and you just have to use it to make you better moving forward and that's even still going on my fourth year. I'm, I'm still doing that. You learn something new every week and um, it's challenging and I think he's got all the tools to be successful. Okay, so let me take you behind the curtain. The question that we were about to ask was in the document and I thought you were going to jettison this thing out of there and say it's insulting and we shouldn't do it. But you saw it and just went quiet on the call. Would you rather have Drake May or the Prince moving forward? Why are you asking me? <laughs> you put it in. You, I, you guys, I did not you, put this in. It just you, keeps you, getting uh, worse. Let, let, let me that. make this clear because I'll answer the question. But let me make this clear, America. Wilds, our producers, even our bosses have explained to us the downside of our seeming obsession with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah. They Trevor showed Lawrence. us data. They Stop showed us game. data. They were like, hey, guys, <laughs> here's people watching the show, and then here's what happens when you do this. And we didn't care. Just, and I, we didn't care. No. We didn't care. <laughs> and, well, bad decision. It did not care. And then when the Jags season went totally awry, yeah. everyone said, all right, now it's kind of a win-win for everyone. Like, we don't have to talk about this team that the audience doesn't like us talking about. And, you, you, Nick, you don't have to defend him anymore. He's not on the show. So I was like, listen, whatever you guys say, Wild's the leader of the show. And then he puts this nonsense in there, knowing, Brew, here's the problem. Great question. Brew, here's the problem. My eyes are avoiding it. My, I'm not avoiding it. Two minutes. I am painting, I'm painting a picture. <laughs> He's running the clock out. Yeah, right. The answer, right. my answer, obviously in a vacuum, is Trevor Lawrence. The problem is, oh. and Wilds knows this, is because I'm Mr. Consistency. I must <laughs> weigh a guy who's making fifty-five million dollars versus a guy on a rookie contract, and that makes it too close to call. So you go. <laughs> Like I was just telling you. Well, look, I, I'm gonna take you behind. The curtain. <laughs> oh okay. God! I, Nick said curtain. he yesterday. You see, he said he was empathetic. I think people oh, question that. that, but I'm empathetic and I feel bad for Trevor. I do too. He I has been dropped Stassi. like a bad habit yeah, by Nick on national TV. You guys That's... made me do it. No, 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 we didn't mean you, you created like Trevor and Trash. You created the same trumpeters. The same trumpeters you used for Trevor now you use for Kate. Well, there are even bad ones available in the city. I've actually toyed, toyed with the idea. <laughs> what? Of making Trevor my guy. <laughs> I've toyed with that idea. That but is very uh, kind of you. And yeah, I'm that. just, I feel bad for the guy. And then you realize you called him the weak link for years. Well, I thought it was motivating him, but I, I'm a, and you're right, the money, obviously the money, you take Drake May, because he's not, said, I didn't have a five years, a $275 million. You wanted million to see contract. more classic one by you. You wanted to see more before giving him his contract. Yes, absolutely. You never waited. for that take. Here, Nick, I'm going to say this. True. I got to say this. I want to stab you. Drake May... What? Threw for three touchdowns <laughs> against a very good Houston Texans defense True. in his first game. Wait, we're, we're Trevor Lawrence hasn't thrown for three touchdowns in his last nine games. He's thrown for three touchdowns once in his last 25 regular season starts. Yikes. I didn't know that. Trevor Lawrence, look, this is his best year. Okay. Look at Trevor Lawrence's best season. Here we go. And it's a blind reveal. We Dick all know knows. who the other guy That's his is. Best it's Russell year. Wilson. Who's the blind? He used the Russell Wilson. I'm just Wilson. saying, Why do you Russell Wilson's that? worst year. <laughs> Nick, that's not, totally crazy. That's his second worst, worst year. His second worst Drew year. That's Russell Wilson Russell last Wilson year. Wilson thing. Trevor and Lawrence like, would die for that. those numbers. Yeah, and then, and, <laughs> 98 pass rate. Right? Trevor Lawrence is like, my gosh, they cut him. <laughs> they cut him? How in the world are they thinking? Hey, Trevor, $250 million. Right. Yeah, they got, 
Hey, I'm just, I mean, give me Drake May. I, I know it's early. I know it's early, but give me Drake May. I have no idea what Drake May is going to be. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm, Poacher, if you dare take the quarterback who's played one game I'm after going, everything you're built on. Absolutely. I'm going with Trevor Lawrence. Thank you. Drake May, to me, gives me early Sam Darnold vibes. I said that over. Oh, over undefeated again. Sam Darnold? Well, no, yeah, no. Sam did actually early good in his first Darnold game. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah and, and look, Trevor's shown that he can win in the league. It's unfortunate where he is right now. Thank you. I, if I was, had to draft the team right now, outside of the With money, the, but, but the I wouldn't take the money part. Don't do it. Money is a so part of this. I would take that. Oh, she's uh, going to have to wear the wig. <laughs> <laughs> you punish me <laughs> for a horrible I answer. don't like him that much. <laughs> right. That was coach. Yeah, that great can, job. That can, here's Amari on. Josh, take a listen. As far as the way he plays, I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. Every time I, I turn on the, the television and watch him play, you know, he plays with a lot of grit, um, a lot of hustle. Um, he plays hard. Uh, and uh, obviously he's been, you know, one of the top quarterbacks in the game for a while now. So uh, just to be able to play with him and experience that in person, uh, I think it's going to be uh, real cool. That feeling of uh, having a fresh beginning, a new start, a uh, blank canvas that you get to control your destiny. Oh, I like that. What's Buffalo's destiny this season? It's kind of I mean, the same as it is every year. <laughs> They're going to win their division with ease. They're going to roll an overmatched opponent in the wild card round in Buffalo, and then they're going to play a legitimate contender, probably Patrick Mahomes, but maybe not, and lose. Like that, and it is so surprising to me how much pessimism about the Bills there was nationally. You know, I looked at, back over the our preseason predictions on this show. You had them in the playoffs, which I applaud you for. That Gr Greg and Coach had them missing the playoffs. Nobody had them winning the division, but me. Like, yeah. there's, there's faith for the Dolphins. Now, the Dolphins are in a weird spot because I love the, the fact quarterback that got hurt. You're guaranteeing they're winning the division at this point. No, right? I'm not. There's no, a lot of football left in the season. There's a lot of football left in the season. They're taking victory but, laps. No, no, no. You see I'm, someone I'm, the, 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 I mean, that, I, I mean that's the. So, they're in a good position. No, co the coach right is absolutely right. That, there's a ton of season left, but let's just take a snapshot of the division. The Patriots might be the worst team in football, well, we have and they're starting a rookie quarterback. The Dolphins. Are uh, kind of an asterisk yeah. until we find out what's going on with Tua. They might but when, be out of it by the correct. Time and that. when Tua was playing, those first six quarters of the year looked shaky at yeah. best. And the Jets have already fired their coach, so it's not over. That is true, but there was so much pessimism about a Bills team that came into the year with a better offensive line than they've had the last few years, a better defensive line, I felt, because it was younger players who had improved over the last couple years than they had over the last few years, and the same quarterback. So you've got solid O-line, solid D-line, and a top-five quarterback, you're going to be good. And so do I think Amari Cooper makes them a Super Bowl team? No, because I think that they need some more talent and maybe – a different messenger via head coach for the Super Bowl, but I think they're a good to really good team, and that's what they've always going to be. So they lost a lot of firepower in the offseason in terms yes. of the changes that they made, and I think that adding Amari Cooper is a positive. I don't think that, that what Josh Allen is doing right now is sustainable. He's gone eight games without throwing a pick. Last year he was, what, second in the league mm -hmm. in interceptions. So this has been a fantastic run for him. So when it does go back to – the pattern that he's shown, and, and hopefully it doesn't for them, but traditionally they do. I want to see how, how they sustain, you know, in, in those circumstances. And we can rule out the Jets, but there is a lot of football left, and they just added a outstanding player, and they could easily get on a run too. I don't think that Buffalo is so far ahead of, of where they are that this thing couldn't couldn't switch. I mean, they're over th the they're they're li literal three games clear of them because they beat them head to head. So I mean, that's a that's a big difference. And the Jets added uh, what is Devonte right now? Call him an A wide receiver. And the Bills added a B plus wide receiver. Like you know what I mean? They both added a position. Yeah, I, I think there's more separation between the two players. Than, okay, an uh, A and a B. I, then I that's fine. That. Like I the, it, it, the, and 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 the Jets added an A player who has a relationship with the quarterback. There's less alert. There should be more impact quickly with yeah. the addition of Devontae than with Amari. Yeah, look, I, I applaud them for going to get Amari. You know, I was upset. I feel like they're – I get that you may have to reset and make some retool, but it felt like they were – they're admitting we weren't a Super Bowl team this year. We're not – we're going to be good, 
But going out to get Amari, I think, shows me that they have a pulse. Like, okay, we are going to try to be a, a really good team this year. But they lost more than Stephon Diggs. To your point, Coach, they lost a lot of not only players on Divas, leaders. Trey Wright, Jordan Port. Yeah, guys that were a lot leaders. Of Matt Milano's hurt guys. again. Yeah. Like, And so defensively, and I do think McDermott's a good defensive guy, but the last three years they've been top four in the league in scoring defense. Top 10 in the league overall defense. This year, they're 11th in the league in scoring defense and 21st in total defense. So I think I end up agreeing with Nick ultimately. Their ceiling is one playoff win, and then they're going to get bounced. Now, I still think the Jets got a chance to win the division, but I think Buffalo will make the playoffs. But they will win one playoff game at most. They might lose the first one. But they'll win one at most and then get bounced. So, two things. One is, I do, and I know it sounds...